Does my hair look okay? No? It never does. What's up guys? Today, in this video, we're going to be talking about... We're going to be talking about my hair. If you're a guy and you're not interested, you can click pause and go on about your business. But if you want, go ahead, stick around, get to know some stuff, I guess. I'm going to be talking about two. Yes, I play. Mm-hmm. talking about the time when I had violet hair or you can call it purple hair or as I like to call it purple hair so I had a lot of variation of blues and purples in my time it was actually like last year a few months ago it was actually a few months ago and a lot of people would ask me a whole bunch of questions like where did I get the color how do I put on my extensions? Because I had really short hair. Like a whole bunch of other questions. And this video is going to answer them all. Maybe some of you guys want to do it. I encourage that. Just be careful with that bleach. And I will explain why. One of the questions was, where did I get it? I got it at a salon called the VIP. My sister-in-law's sister-in-law pretty much owns the salon. So she hooked a sister up. I spent $120 on my head. But it was worth it. And another question that I must answer is yes, it involves a lot of bleach. There's no other way to magically discolor your hair. Bleach was used in the making of it. And in total, I think they bleached my head about four times. The first two was like about an hour, the rest was like 30 minutes. I had black hair at the time, but before I make the appointment and all that, I tried my very best to remove as much black out of my hair as I could. And there was just a few strands, you know, those few strands that they just don't become the color you want. So that's basically what happened. And at the end of all that, my hair was silly string. Have you guys felt silly string, you know, squishy, stretchy? That's how I basically felt. And I was scared out of my life the first time I went to go wash my head. Here is a tip to keep it healthy. It may sound gross, but it does really help. Do not wash your head as often. Yes, go shower, of course, you need to shower. But showering your head almost every day can really remove like of natural oils from your head. I wouldn't wash my head for about probably three or four days. And at the like right before I'm going to shower, like wash my head, I comb my hair through over and over. Aside from that, I'd use I'd use conditioner, like leave on, leave in, leave on conditioner. You know, it's either the spray or the conditioner cream itself. I just apply it, leave it on for about an hour maybe, and then just wash it off. And that's how I keep it healthy. Simple as that. Another question was, how do I apply my extensions? If you've seen my previous video of how to apply extensions with short hair, that's how I basically did it. Some experience with purple hair, it's you have to be dedicated to it. No joke. You have to be dedicated if you want your entire head to be one certain color. Which means getting regular trims, keeping it healthy, dye it once, you, once the color starts fading. I guess that's basically it. It may sound easy, but if you're that type of person that's always busy and just don't have the time to constantly dye your hair every few weeks, then that's probably not a good idea for you. And then just, that's just me saying. Each time that it was time to dye my hair, I'd always get a little creative. But for sure, I'll show you some pictures at the end of this video so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And I've, since I've had it for so long, for one year, it stayed like I felt like it stayed in the same length. So I, I thought from there it was time to get rid of it. It was very bad. It's the best way. I could. It was dry. It was crispy. 
Like you would just go like that and you'll literally like little pieces of hair will start falling off. If, I, I was scared. From there, I knew it was time to cut my hair. I went to the same salon. I asked her, just chop whatever's dead, please. And like, I didn't care if I ended up bald or I had one bald spot on one side and long in the other. I just wanted everything that was dead out of my head. And that's what she did. And my hair ended up being so short. Where's my flat iron? Where's my flat iron? It has grown. So I'm quite happy with the results. If I were to choose which one I liked best out of the many times I've dyed it, so they were pretty much, they were all different. I would have to say, I think when I just had it all blurp, get me blue, purple. Do I plan on dyeing my hair again? Yes. But I'm going to grow up my hair until it reaches down to my boobs or something and I'll probably just dye the bottom of it. Who knows, maybe I'll slowly go up to my hair. We'll see, it's gonna take a while, but we'll see. So this is the end of the video. I hope some of you took this in consideration and hope to, it helped you guys out for those if that wanna dye your hair. I hope this video was helpful. If it was useless, I'm sorry. It's never too late. Uh, subscribe for more videos. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. And I'll see you guys until the next video. Hey there. I like your hair. Who does your hair? I want to go there. Psha. I like your hair. Who does your hair? I want to go there. Hey bitches. My scalp bitches. Let's do my own damn hair. Psha. I need more gel. My hair looks like hell. Fucking bitches. Oh my god. Blonde, blonde, blonde. Brunette, brunette. Redhead, redhead. More like dreadhead. Oh my god. Hey there. I like your hair. Who does your hair? I wanna go there.